Hello there, friends. Welcome back to another favorites video. I am not feeling well. I am sick. We've been passing around illness around this house. My daughters went to a church camp last week, and when they came back, they brought back some really fun germs that we've all just been passing around. So I feel like my voice sounds a little raspy, a little hoarse. You're gonna have to bear with me, but I think I can make up for it. I think if I can just offer you a little peace offering to open this video, it's that this is a good favorites, y'all. This is a real good favorites, okay? So maybe worth suffering through my um, noxious voice. I'm, I'm actually like sweating already. I'm usually freezing out here in my office, but I think because I'm sick, my temperature is just like up, down, up, down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the sweater, which I, I realize is ridiculous because it is July, but you guys know how I am. This, by the way, is the free people sweater that I got in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Okay, where to begin? I did not do a good job. Normally I sort this stuff ahead of time into sections to make it easier for myself. I do have some beauty, some home stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just jump into it. All right, let's start with some home stuff. You guys, I was so excited to see if you watch, I, I don't actually even watch the show, but Jenny Mars and her family, uh, they have a line now with Walmart and Better Homes and Gardens. They also have a show on HGTV. My point is, is that it's not that Jenny and I are actually friends, okay? I'm gonna pretend like that's the truth. It's not. She doesn't know me from Adam, but I was connected to her through the adoption world years ago, long before they ever had a show on HGTV. She probably has no idea who I am. Again, I'm not claiming like friendship. She probably does not remember me at all. They also have a child adopted from the Congo. And so that's kind of like my little connection to her. And so I just, as I've watched them over the years get their show and brand and everything, business has grown. I just have always been like rooting for them and cheering them on. And so when I saw that they released a line at Walmart of things with Better Homes and Gardens, I was like, I really would like to support them. And I also needed the items. So. I purchased their table and chair set from their outdoor dining section. Even CR was totally impressed with the quality of the table. Uh, we got it to go under our new pavilion section over there. I absolutely love it. It is huge, it is wide. It's, it's such a well-made, sturdy table. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the color. I did only purchase one set of the chairs. So the chairs come in a set of two. We did the chairs on the ends and then I purchased some benches that I found on sale slash clearance. Um, and those are actually, I'm going to get them today after I finish filming this video. So, so I got the table and chairs and uh, light fixture and everything last month. And then this month I added the rug to the collection as well, but I still haven't built the pavilions. So I've kind of got things out there, but then I have to like put them away when it rains. It's a whole big thing. If once we finish the pavilions and I completely style the area, I'll give you guys like a, a final look at everything, but I'm really, really pleased with it. I can't speak highly enough to the quality of the table and the chairs. Um, and their line at Walmart. I just, I haven't purchased anything from that line that I haven't felt like was great, great quality above and beyond what I would have expected. So just wanted to share that as a definite favorite. Man, I also just feel like my brain is not firing on all cylinders to being sick. But anyways, the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys, like home decor wise, and I'm kicking myself because I cannot remember if I talked about it in my Amazon Prime Day video or not. And I've been meaning to share with you guys about this for months because I get lots of questions when y'all see them inside the house, but that is our frame TVs. So we have two frame TVs and then we have the decor or something maybe um, are the frames that we purchased that you know are above and beyond the, the regular frames that the frame TV comes with. So it's a Samsung TV and they come with a frame to make it look like a picture frame. And then there's this company called Decor TV, maybe. Well, hopefully I'll figure it out, but I'll link everything down below where you can get all kinds of different frames for it. And to me, adding those bulkier, thicker frames really make it look like an actual framed photo and not, um, or, you know, framed canvas or whatever, and not a TV. Uh, however, here's what I will say. So my little mini review is that we absolutely love the TVs. I highly recommend them. I don't know that I would ever go back to a, like regular TV paying for the pictures through Samsung to, you know, be able to have those, those photos to choose from on your TV. Eh, not really worth it. There's some, there's some nice, like classic things in there. If you want some classic paintings and stuff, but really Etsy is the way to go. Etsy digital art. I will link up a few of my favorite shops, but the Etsy digital art, you can just get the best stuff there. So cheap, like four bucks, 
for uh, you know a digital print that you then you know put up on the TV and it looks like within reason okay like no one's gonna come into your house and get super close and be like gee is this a TV or not it's just that from a distance it's not as obnoxious as a giant TV it just looks like a painting on the wall so I'm really really pleased with ours I do also know that they tend to go on a really good sale again for like Black Friday Cyber Monday so stick around I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on the best deals on those um, because they are expensive but in my opinion definitely worth it especially if you just you want something that doesn't look so much like a TV in your home so I love them so much I had to give those a shout out and then the other thing in like the home decor section that I wanted to share with you guys obviously this is all stuff I can't physically sit here with so I figured like let's just get through this um, I have never purchased anything from Ballard Designs before though I've heard wonderful things about them I have also found them to be, um, it, can, it can be pricey, okay? Like, let's just be honest. I'm just not gonna beat around the bush. I found something on their website that I felt was very reasonably priced, um, and that is their French, well, multiple different kinds, but their drapery rods. So I have been working on getting curtains up in the house in different areas. One of the things that, you know, I love so much about our house is how many windows there are, like in the kitchen and in the kids' rooms and in our entry area. There's just all these beautiful windows that I love, especially because our ceilings are real low and the rooms can tend to feel very dark. I also decorate on the darker side. I'm not like a bright white all the time kind of decorator. So I love the windows and I never wanted to cover them at all, period. Well, here's the thing. We live in the South. We live in South Carolina. It is hot, 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 hot. And especially the summer when it's gotten, you know, over 100 degrees for multiple days in a row. I mean, it can just turn our house into an oven and we need to be able to pull some curtains, close some blinds, that kind of thing. So I've been kind of doing different research into what I want to put in what room and all of that. But I found these really beautiful, uh, I believe they're called French drapery rods. I might be screwing that up. I, I'll, I'll find the right name. But I really love these because they kind of curve and arch. So they're like a decorator's rod. So they're not going to be like something that has like a big ball on the end or something like that. They really are meant um, to let the curtains shine and the, the rods just kind of disappear behind the curtains. Um, for, unless you like hang them off the little hook things, whatever. Anyhow, at the price point that these are at, I feel like they are well worth it. They're absolutely beautiful. The quality is fantastic. I did the bronze color for our bedroom because I'm currently kind of redoing some things in our master bedroom. And I did the bronze color because it very much matches the uh, pulls on our dressers and nightstands. We have like a full matching set of dressers and nightstands, which is not something that we've ever really had before, but I like it and the bronze drapery rods really match that well. Um, and then I changed out the curtains as well. And the curtains are from CB2. And in case you didn't know, because I didn't, so no shame, uh, that CB2 is actually Crate and Barrel. So it's like Crate and Barrel 2. I think it's you know some secondary version of it. I had no idea until the package came and it said Crate and Barrel. And I was like, but I ordered something from CB2. And then I was like, oh, CB2, Crate and Barrel 2. Okay, got it. A lot of their stuff is way, 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 way too modern for me but there are some things on there that I really love. And one of the things that I feel like, again, is a good deal on their website is their drapes, um, is their curtains. So getting the really long lengths, if you need those, uh, getting just really high quality material. So I purchased these kind of, it says that it's camel, but to me, they are definitely more of like a peachy apricot color, kind of a velvety feel although it's not really velvet, I'll put the name of the fabric, but I got these curtains for our master bedroom and I absolutely love them. I needed to order more panels. I did not order enough. So more panels are on the way to have two on each side of the window. And then we decided to also put them on the other window in our room. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you, those, those drapery rods. Um, I'm going to be using them in the playroom because we're going to be hanging curtains in there, which I wanted to do when I redid the room. But to be honest, it was just, I had already spent so much on that room and curtains and rods it was just gonna be you know, way, way out of the budget that I had planned for the room. So it's been a year since I made over that room. Now let's reassess you know, budget-wise what I wanna do. And I just felt like it was worth the investment to put curtains in there, especially for reducing how hot it gets in that room. Um, and then I'm also gonna be doing them in the front entry area as well. So they'll all be a little bit different, but I'm gonna use those same like French drapery rods in all of those areas because I think they look the best and kind of work the best for the look that I'm going for. So 
just wanted to share those with you guys. All right, last thing I have to share with you guys. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Salted Honey and Vanilla Candle. I cannot remember if I've shared about this candle with y'all before, so I just had to throw it in here because I absolutely love this candle. This line uh, from Better Homes and Gardens, the, the black ones with the wood tops, first of all, I like all of those, the scents that are from this line. But this Salted Honey and Vanilla one, oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good so good um i probably burn it way 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 too much i have already purchased more and i will probably continue to purchase more when i'm in store when i do my online orders <laughs> i cannot help it i love it so much it's 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 the best okay so uh in case you're wondering salted honey caramel macadamia milk vanilla brown sugar scent notes i mean it sounds like you could eat it honestly that sounds delicious but we're not going to do that we're just going to sniff it but definitely worth the sniffing. So highly recommend that candle. All right, let's get into some of the beauty things. Let's start with this. Okay. We need to have, wait a second. I did. I can't even believe I meant to start the video with my beef, but I forgot. We're going to talk about lashes for a second. Some of you guys were very unkind on one of my recent videos, making fun of my lashes. And at first I thought, oh, I know they look crazy, but do you have to say it out loud? And then I realized that like, yeah, some people just didn't get enough hugs from their mother, okay? So they behave like that. However, I wanna point out that, you know, I was attempting to support a small business, okay? I haven't had my lashes done in over two years. I found this girl on Instagram and she seemed super nice. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'll go get my lashes done. I haven't done it in forever. I'll support this girl's business. I honestly feel like that whole story, if, if we ever start the podcast back, that'll be one of the stories I tell on there because I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. She taped my eyes closed and then left for 30 minutes. Okay. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. And we just, I don't think we saw eye to eye on what um, volume, but not crazy. Like, let's keep it, keep it not natural because there's just nothing natural about false lashes. But I just think we didn't see, I don't think we saw eye to eye on what, what I had in mind and what she had in mind. And when I did finally get to open my eyes and I'm still alive and I looked in the mirror, I was like, sweet, tiny baby Jesus. This is a lot of lash. But here's the thing. When you go and you get your lashes done, first of all, you pay. It's, it's not cheap, right? But also the glue and everything that you can't just go rip them off. If you do that, you're going to rip off with a hammer. You're going to rip off all your natural lashes. And I thought, all right, maybe it's not as bad as I think. Maybe it's just because I haven't had these, you know, false or lash extensions done in two years that it just seems really dramatic to me. But then I had had to film some, I have to batch film some videos. And uh, I put up a video and the comments were like, you look crazy. I was like, it's not very nice. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't think it was that bad, but people definitely did. So sorry that I ruined your day with my lashes. But let's talk about some more reasonable lashes, okay, you crazy people. So we can all agree that those lashes were a little bit, they were a little bit much. Let's talk a little bit about Miss Lashify here. So I have shared with you guys before about, I'm just taking all this apart because, well, I've made myself a big old mess here. I've shared with you guys before about Lashify and I kind of forgot about them, I'll be honest with you. Except that I forgot how nice it is when you have these lash extensions on, it feels like you really don't have to wear much makeup at all otherwise. You kind of wake up looking good and it's just so quick, right, to get to get the rest of yourself ready. And when I went to Florida and hung out with some of the other ladies here on YouTube, um, I was reminded by a couple of them about like, hey, do you still use Lashify? I do. And I was like, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I think I'm going to give that a little revival in my routine. And that's what I did. So I busted out my little kit here. Um, I'm going to insert some footage so you guys can see because I feel like it's, it's not helpful for me just to like sit here and blab about it. I would like to actually show you. Um, and that way you can kind of see a little bit closer up. But you can order like the little system, okay, of everything. And it's kind of like doing lash extensions at home, except you're not doing individual lashes. You are using little groupings of lashes. You'll be able to see better in the inserted footage, but you're using little groupings of lashes. Now, these go under your eyelashes. They don't go on top, right? So you get the false strip lashes at Target or whatever, and those go on top of your lashes. These do not. These go up underneath like lash extensions do. And I gotta be honest, with you I really love them and if you if you take good care of them um, and you're careful they do last I think the last time mine stayed on for five or so days and by the way 
it's it's not that you they fall off and they're gone forever. Now, if you lose them when you're out, if they fall off when you're out and about and you don't notice, but what I have found is that usually I'll kind of feel that one is coming loose. And if I can't make it stay back down by reapplying the different solutions and stuff, then I'll just go ahead and take it off. And mine tend to come off first from the outside inward. And then you can just clean those up and reuse them. So I don't know how many different uses you can get out of each one, or even if you're supposed to do that. Lashify probably doesn't recommend that you do that, but well, that's too bad Lashify, then you shouldn't charge so much. Uh, but you basically can go on their website and you buy these little sets and there's so many different kinds, okay? So many different kinds. Honestly, it's a little overkill. I feel like they need to simplify that a bit because there's way more options than there were when I first tried this. But you buy the starter kit, you get the little glue stuff, you gotta clean your lashes really, really well, you put the glue stuff on, you let it kind of dry, get tacky. I also purchased the, um, the night bond sealer, which is supposed to be a stronger sealer for it. So you use these products, then you put the little lash up underneath, um, then you pinch them down and there's a whole process, okay? They'll give you a whole video. I don't wanna bore you too much with that. I just kinda want you to see like the before and after. But then I also wanted to mention, because so my friend Dawn told me about these, an Amazon alternative. So they are, a, basically the, a similar type to the Lashify, little groupings of lashes, and these are soft and fluffy. There's all different kinds that you can get. So I will link to these. I haven't tried these enough yet to tell you whether or not I think they are equal in quality. Uh, they look good, they don't look bad, they look great. I just still have plenty of the Lashify ones left, so I haven't felt the need to. Now, if you're wondering, just for um, helpfulness sake, I have, I do use two different sizes. I use uh, one size on the outer, did something fall off? Um, I use one size on the outer part of my eye. I put uh, two on the outer part, one, two, and then I use the next smallest size and I do one, two. So I end up with four across on each eye. I don't go all the way to the inner part here. I don't know, I just, I don't, I, I, it ends up like tickling me and bothering me. I just don't, but I did order some very uh, like fluttery light ones for that inner part. Uh, should I want to do that? But at this point I haven't wanted to, so I feel, I feel good with the system that I'm using. So the ones that I use on the outside is E.13, E.13. When I go inside to the, the next two, it's EE.14. Just in case you're wondering, that's what I'm currently using. And honestly, just really loving them. I'm really pleased with them. I really, uh, I like having, I like having the lash extensions. I forgot how much I like having them, but I also clearly remember how much I don't like spending the money on going to get them done professionally and the time uh, because it takes a long, long time. And people who do a really good job with them take a really long time. This to me is a great in-between. It allows me to get lashes. I feel like they look good. Let's talk a little bit about anti-aging. This is a product that I'm actually, I, I mean, I feel like I, I wanted to, should have put this at the front end of the video uh, because that's how much I really love it. And I know most people are just not gonna make it this far into the video, but for those of you who did, congratulations, because you're about to hear about something great. That was just perfectly timed. We hear all about, we like the royal we, we hear all about anti-aging, we hear about like our, our face skin, right? Retinols and, um, you know, Botox or even like back of the hands, dark spots, you know, correcting that kind of stuff. But one of the things that I feel like gets neglected when we talk about aging is just overall skin. I started thinking about, you know, after I had the twins, let's just give you like a quick Cliff notes, after I had the twins, okay, I had gained a lot, a lot, a lot of weight, like 80 pounds when I was pregnant with them. Um, and after losing that 80 pounds, the skin on my legs was not in the best of shape. Let's just put it that way. And I kind of felt like I don't really know what my options are here. Like I don't really know how to correct this, if there's even any options or if, you know, I, I don't love wearing shorts anyways, but this made it like even worse for me and not wanting to wear shorts. Um, because I just wasn't comfortable in them. And so I started thinking through like options and doing some research and stuff. And I came across this and I, I was reading about using retinols and stuff on your other skins, right? The skins on your arms and legs and stuff. And that led me to this product, which is called Replenix, Rep Replenix, Replenix, Replenix. 
probably replenix anti-aging retinol smooth and tighten body lotion medical grade ingredients it is a medical grade product it is not um, the cheapest product for the amount that you get it's cruelty free gluten free paraben free fragrance free okay so there's it, it smells like nothing it's got all trans retinol Idleweiss, I think is how you say that, and green tea uh, polyphenols, I think is how you say that. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Um, and I have really noticed a difference in the texture of the skin on my legs in particular uh, since using this. You can see that I am, I've, I'm probably just got like a quarter of it left um, and I'm really, really impressed with it. I'm definitely going to be ordering more of it. Uh, I've been a little stingy with it because again, it's just a little pricey for a lotion that doesn't, it's kind of thicker, so it doesn't sound like it goes a really long way. Uh, but I started using it also on my chest and shoulders. I get a lot of sun here and I see myself looking like a piece of beef jerky when I'm older, you know, that leathery beef, beef jerky look from being outside gardening. And I wear sunscreen and stuff, y'all, but like it, it's hot and there's just there's only so much you can do about the sun in that that circumstance there's a lot of conversation always about like face and hair and gray hair and retinol and botox and you know all that kind of stuff but no one's like addressing but okay here's what it is you have been in public and seen the woman that her face says 45 her body says i'm just kidding i'm actually 65 that up there has been pulled real tight do you know what I'm saying? And that's sort of my thought process is, I'd, if I'm going to put creams and lotions and all this kind of stuff, potions and all of that on my face to try to help my face age a little slower, I should probably do the same to my body. Otherwise, they're not going to match in any way and that could look weird. So anyways, I also would like to get to the point where I feel more comfortable in shorts and maybe that's just a me thing and none of this matters, but I feel like I noticed a difference that I'm really happy with, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And then also with on that same, whoops, sorry, on that same token, Beauty Pie makes a super retinol anti-aging hand cream, which I have been using on the back of my hands, and I really love this. I keep one in my car and one in my nightstand because that tends to be when I remember to use hand lotion. Otherwise, I'm just washing my hands so, so much when I'm just out and about at home. Um, but they do make the super retinol anti-aging hand treatment. So definitely check that out if you want something more specific for hands. All right, speaking of, well, let me actually, just since we were talking about Beauty Pie, I wanted to share this with you guys. This is the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil in Naked Peach. I just got this and it is arguably just the best, probably one of my most favorite lip glosses ever, 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 ever. It's the perfect, if you just want something that you can keep in your bag, wear at any time, put on, at any time over any other lipstick that you might have on or by itself it's just the most perfect it's got the teeny teeny teeniest little bits of glitter in here but not on your lips it doesn't this is not glittery on your lips it's just it's lovely it's wonderful you guys know how much i love my beauty pie products and i have probably four or five different of the wonder gloss collagen lip oils but I did not have the shade Naked Peach and I'm sad I didn't and I should have and maybe you should too. It's fantastic. Cannot recommend enough. I shared this on uh, my LTK page. If you like all this kind of stuff, you should follow me over on LTK because I, I do a lot more posting about that kind of stuff over there. I try to keep this kind of very product heavy, whatever stuff to like, you know, once a month or so on my channel. But over there, you get to see it all because well, I love product stuff and I like to share what I'm loving and using. So. I was so excited to see the Colleen Rothschild uh, Quench and Shine Restorative Mask come back in stock. No, it is not this tiny. This is from the travel set. I just didn't want to bring the big Mama Jamma out here because it's in my shower and I was being lazy. So I just grabbed this one. Uh, but I ordered the big Mama Jamma as soon as I saw that it was back in stock, which it was back in stock for a bit before I realized. I'm not sure how that happened. But I don't have, I don't personally have a discount code with um, Colleen Rothschild. I know there are some other like influencers and stuff on YouTube that do, but I also know that she runs sales all the time. So my recommendation is not to pay full price, not because the products aren't worth it, because they absolutely are, but because there's just always discount codes available um, and always sales going on from anywhere from like 15 to 20% off at different times. So be, if I can find a code or if there's a sale, I'll put that in the description box, but y'all have to try this Quench and Shine mask. I don't know anybody who doesn't absolutely love it. I use this in Ivy's hair. She's turning five tomorrow. I just can't, I can't, I can't. We're not gonna talk about that. She's turning five tomorrow. She's got curly hair and her hair can be very, very difficult to brush. Uh, gets very, very knotted and tangled. And I love using this. And I just, you just use the teeniest amount. It goes a long, long, long way. 
I purchased many different hair masks, uh, especially during the months, I feel like it was six months or more that this mask was out of stock. I tried lots of different hair masks, some of which I really liked, but none hold a candle to this. I love it so much. I just cannot recommend it enough. If you have not tried it, definitely do. I love all of her products, all of her hair products. The shampoo is fantastic. The styling cream, um, the, the oil stuff that you put in after. I can't remember what that's called. If you want to just give it a try, you can just do the travel set. Uh, so you'll get like trial size, not trial, but you'll get travel sizes of all of those products, plus a cute bag and a little towel thing. If you just wanna like kind of sample, but trust me, I do not think you will regret just jumping on board with them with the mega size of this because it's awesome. All right, that brings me to this little beauty here. And I cannot remember if I spoke about this lipid, triple lipid peptide barrier cream lotion before. Long story short, the place that I had gone to get facials last year, I, I went a couple times. I haven't gone at all this year, though I would like to because they are wonderful. But I typically try to find a place to get facials where they use SkinCeuticals for their skincare when I, if I want to get a facial because SkinCeuticals is just the creme de la creme, okay? That's the best, uh, you know, gold standard of like vitamin C and other things. And I just love their products so much. Well, she sold me on this triple lipid cream and it was insanely expensive. I loved it so much. It was so good, but it was so expensive. And I just felt like, ugh, if I'm gonna bite the bullet and pay this much for the vitamin C, I would like to find something less expensive for the uh, triple lipid moisture barrier cream product. That is where this little beauty comes in, the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Lotion. This is a dupe knockoff, cheaper version of that SkinCeuticals uh, cream, triple lipid cream. It's 3% triple lipid complex, 3% neutropeptide blend, 3% seaweed hyaluronate blend. Um, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but my skin thinks that it is. So that's, that's the point that I'm trying to make here is that this is also vegan and cruelty free and it is a wonderful dupe for that SkinCeuticals product if you do not wanna pay that much money for face lotion, because well, yikes. I love this. Now, I had previously the one that was in the pot and you push the little thing and it comes out the top, which is really fun like the first three times. And then after that, it kind of gets old. I don't love it because I feel like there's more in there and you're not giving it to me. And then I end up fighting with the jar. They do make refills for that, uh, which is great. So you don't have to buy the whole product. It's a little cheaper if you just buy the refills. But I saw this when I was in Sephora with a friend recently and um, it's a, a bottle with a pump version, which I like way better. Highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a really good, again, I've kind of, we've kind of talked about this, like getting very uh, specific about skincare routines and really focusing on, for me anyways, just like really focusing on the major things that, that really matter, which is like a good cleanser, vitamin C, a retinol, vitamin C during the day, a retinol at night, a good sunscreen, and a good like lipid cream barrier thing. And then I do some chemical exfoliation. I don't do any physical exfoliation. And so I have a couple different like chemical exfoliation type products that I like to do that kind of thing, mixing it in here and there. I don't have any clothes or anything like that to share with you in this video, not because I don't actually have them, but because I am planning a separate video because I have a number of good things I wanna share with you guys. And I just feel like, this video would be a hundred. It would just, this video would be insanely long if I included that this time. So I'm gonna do a separate video sharing some clothing favorites. And I know I'm just gonna mention the word fall, just calm down, okay, but it's coming. At least uh, for some people it's coming. You know, here where we live, fall is just pretend for a few months, but I do like to pretend. And um, because I am a sweater girl and a jeans and sweater and comfy girl, I do get excited for that. Even if the weather is not cooperative, Operating. I like to pretend it is, get excited about the sweaters anyways. Sadly, you guys, I don't have any books or TV shows or movies or anything like that to share with you guys this month. Um, I have been working on some other projects that are going to uh, remain unmentioned specifically in this video, but I have some upcoming projects that will be kind of exciting, hopefully, uh, for all of us. But I've been spending all of my extra time on those things, and it's birthday month, the twins' birthday, Rosie's birthday, my birthday, uh, so many things that are just going on right now that I just haven't really been doing much reading or TV watching. It's just been kind of one of those. And with being sick, I've just been doing a lot of like podcast listening um, and Pinteresting. That's kind of been my thing this month. I've been going hard at Pinterest and planning. We're trying to shift our focus to more indoor projects. Right now it's so hot. There's not a lot we can get done outside. Um, and we just 
have feel like, and we've talked about this, like we feel like we kind of neglected a lot of the indoor projects. And as we move into winter and we're going to be in the house more, we'd like to start moving some of those forward. So that's why um, you're seeing some changes in my room and um, in some of the kids' rooms that we'll be sharing some of those changes and stuff. I'm sorry, I feel like I was a bit all over the place. I talked a lot in this video, which isn't totally abnormal, but I feel like because I'm sick, I feel like I've been talking for 400 hours. It'll be fun to edit, that's for sure. But that's gonna be it for today's video. It's gonna be it for my favorites. I will link everything down below as always. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Next time you see me, I'll be 38, my 38th birthday. So if I come in with a cane, I'm just kidding. I love to make jokes about getting old and being older. I actually secretly really like getting older and I almost in my mind have mentally decided I am 40 and I just tell myself that. I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably enjoy my last couple of years in my 20, or 20, <laughs> enjoy my last couple of years in my 30s, uh, but like mentally I'm there. There is something very freeing the older you get. Um, the less you give a crap about a lot of things and it feels real good. So I'm leaning into that. So I tease a lot about getting older and all that kind of stuff, but it's just a joke. I don't mind at all, at all. Okay, for real skis, that's it this time. That's it. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.